the NIH has about $35 billion budget, and as you said, it returns probably $2.5 to $3 on every dollar spent. It's one of the best economic engines this country has. Uh, the president is proposing having it to $17 billion, a complete own goal, particularly at a time, by the way, when China is building multitude of Kendall squares throughout the country and overtaking us in biotech and biomedical R&D. Uh, and what's happening, thankfully, is a playbook that we know works, which is when across the Republicans, uh, business and national defense, you get pushed back to the president's bad ideas. When those three work in tandem, you tend to see changes. And cutting the NIH is such an astoundingly bad idea that we, we did see that pushback. And I do have confidence that his $17 billion approach would not, would not be appropriated as part of a, a full government funding bill. What I am worried about is that he would use pocket rescissions, that he would pass a budget and then through OMB cut it with a simple majority line vote in the Congress. That would be a hard vote too, even for the Republicans, but that is a much more likely scenario that we have to be on guard against. We did, in fact, try, so I just put forward a, a resolution with the ranking member of the Health Subcommittee about the NIH's value just last week, and we tried to get Republicans and they wouldn't do it in the House. Um, in the Senate, I was happy to see that there was that Republican support, but we now do have a Democrat and Republican statement, even if they're separate statements, for the NIH. And I also, also just got the Congressional Budget Office to release a report today, actually, um, me and the ranking member of the Budget Committee, that they did more in-depth economic analysis that basically showed even more clearly what a good value NIH funding is. It showed that it actually reduces deficits, for example, over the long run. And we're hoping to use that as well for the government funding debate to say, you cut the NIH, it's not even saving, you know, it's not even saving money for the federal government. 